Now, uh, along with the sort of communist witch hunts, another tactic that the industrialists were using in this period was the newly invented idea of public relations. Oh, I like that. Which which was a fancy name for corporate propaganda. <laughs> I've I, We've touched on this briefly in shows gone by, but I want to uh, read this bit again. The founder of modern propaganda, Edward Bernays, mm. nephew of Sigmund Freud, right. Uh, in the opening of his classic 1928 book, Propaganda, mm. so this is only 10 years earlier he had written the foundational book about public relations, um, right. he wrote this. The conscious and intelligent manipulation of the organised habits and opinions of the masses <laughs> is an important element in democratic society. Those who manipulate this unseen mechanism of society constitute an invisible government which is the true ruling power of our country. We are governed. Our minds are moulded. Our tastes formed. Our ideas suggested largely by men we have never heard of. This is a logical result of the way in which our democratic society is organised. Clearly, it is the intelligent minorities which need to make use of propaganda continuously and systematically. In the act of proselytizing minorities in whom selfish interests and public interests coincide lie the progress and development of America. Only through the active energy of the intelligent few can the public at large become aware of and act upon New ideas. Oh, God. That's madman with a big giant penis. Just balls to the wall. Mad, mad, mad men. Mad men. Sorry. Mean? Yes, yes, yes. TV shows? Yes. Yeah. Not the, not the mad king of no. Westeros or the mad queen of Westeros, which I know you're probably not up to no. date with, but uh, the mad man. I, yeah. I have to ask. I mean, in the late 80s, I took a college marketing class, and, it, and one of the first things we learned was that, and I can't remember who said this, but... Marketing or advertising is something is the truth well told as in, yeah, you're not exactly being honest, but you're taking what you can and you're really running with that. How is that not illegal? How look, we're going to lie. We're going to twist. We're going to spin. We're going to manipulate you. We're going to control you. We're going to tell you what to like, what you don't like, what you eat, what you wear, what you think, how you feel. We're going to manipulate you. And, and I get that it's a science, and I get that people get, you know, there's, there's entire companies and there's an industry formed around that, but how is it allowed to be tolerated? How is it illegal? And maybe I'm being kind of naive, but it just seems like you shouldn't be allowed to, to spend tons of money manipulating the masses for your own gain, even if it's, har- even if it's harmful for the masses, like the tobacco fa- um, industry. I just find all that fascinating. Well, you know, uh, gradually regulations were put in place over time to try mm-hmm. and prevent marketers from lying. But right. uh, you know, I guess you can you can tell the truth uh, or you can lie in your marketing and your propaganda and your PR. Mm-hmm. And industrialists uh, would, would want no restrictions on that. Right? You know, they they want to be able to lie with impunity. And it's up to our governments to put legislation into place to, to penalise uh, industrialists from doing mm-hmm. that. And that's been a backwards and a back and fro debate that's been going on for a century.